Recently, the James Webb Space Telescope has been in the spotlight. But guess what? The most distant human-made object, NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft, which is currently traveling in interstellar space, has diverted our attention to itself by sending some mysterious signals to Earth. This probe is sailing the uncharted waters of the cosmic sea, and it's brought us along for the journey. Even after about a half century from its launch, it's out in the deep, dark recesses of the solar system, still operating. However, in an unexpected turn of events, something strange is now occurring with the Voyager 1 spacecraft. Welcome to Space Nomad, and without further ado, let's quickly dig into the video to know what it's all about. The dark room is the center of the universe. Voyager has been a real mission of discovery. Every planet we flew by, we got more questions than answers. I think none of us knew when we launched 40 years ago that anything would be working for such a wonderful long journey. We had hoped that we could reach interstellar space. First, let me tell you about Voyager 1 and its long, long journey. Voyager 1 is a space probe launched by NASA on September 5, 1977, as part of the Voyager program to explore the outer planets in our solar system and interstellar space beyond the Sun's heliosphere. Launched 16 days after its twin, Voyager 2, Voyager 1 has been operating for over 45 years now. Voyager 1 was the second of the twin spacecraft to launch, but it was the first to race by Jupiter and Saturn. The images sent back by Voyager 1 have been used in school books and by many media outlets for a generation. The probe made flybys of Jupiter, Saturn, and Saturn's largest moon, Titan. The trailblazing craft left our solar system and entered interstellar space in 2012. The spacecraft also carries a special record, the Golden Record that's designed to carry different languages, sounds, and music from Earth out into the cosmos. Probably with the vision that if ever the probe was encountered by any extraterrestrials in interstellar space, they would have a sweet little introduction of us humans here on Earth. Two years after exiting the heliosphere, Voyager 1 began experiencing a third tsunami wave of coronal mass ejections from the Sun that continued to at least December 15, 2014, further confirming that the probe is indeed in interstellar space. Not to mention that both Voyager probes have been doing huge overtime and were never meant to operate this long. Voyager 1 has remained operational long past expectations and continues to send information about its journeys back to Earth. It is 154 astronomical units away from us which is 14.6 billion miles. That makes it the most distant human-made object. While Voyager 1 is still operating properly, scientists on the mission recently noticed that it appeared confused about its location in space without going into safe mode or otherwise sounding an alarm. Here we are talking about interstellar space, a high radiation environment that no spacecraft have flown in before. The main theory of what the culprit might be are failing circuitry within the onboard electronics. Or could this be some effects on the spacecraft from cosmic radiation from this unknown part of the outer solar system? If the electronics were to fail, the craft would send us some fault detection signals, but that is not what is going on. NASA said that the glitch has to do with Voyager 1's Attitude Articulation and Control System, or AACS, which keeps the spacecraft and its antenna in the proper orientation. And the AACS seems to be working just fine, since the spacecraft is receiving commands, acting on them, and sending science data back to Earth with the same signal strength as usual. Nevertheless, the AACS is sending the spacecraft's handlers junk telemetry data. Well, the team has located the source of the garbled information. The AACS has started sending the telemetry data through an onboard computer known to have stopped working years ago, and the computer corrupted the information. 
Once engineers began to suspect Voyager 1 was using a dead computer, they simply sent a command to the probe so its AACS system would use the right computer to phone home. It was a low-risk fix, but pretty time-consuming. It takes a radio signal nearly 22 hours to reach Voyager 1, so the call and response of one message between NASA and Voyager takes about two days. After months of sending junk data about its health to flight controllers on Earth, it has once again started beaming back clear telemetry data on its status beyond our solar system. Engineers have repaired the issue affecting data from the spacecraft, though they don't yet know why the AACS started routing telemetry data to the incorrect computer, but it likely received a faulty command generated by another onboard computer. If that's the case, it would indicate that there's an issue somewhere else on the spacecraft. The team will continue to search for that underlying issue, but they don't think it's a threat to the long-term health of Voyager 1. A full memory readout of the AACS would be conducted to look at everything it's been doing. That will help the scientists to diagnose the problem that caused the telemetry issue in the first place. So being cautiously optimistic, still more investigation needs to be done. Voyager 1's extended mission is expected to continue until about 2025, when its radioisotope thermoelectric generators RTGs, will no longer supply enough electric power to operate its scientific instruments. Even if Voyager 1 is discovered to be on its last leg, it has had an incredible ride, gathering comprehensive photographs and extraordinary amounts of data, as it sailed its way towards infinity. We are thankful to Voyager 1 for its significant contribution to the human understanding about the cosmos for decades. Thank you for watching Space Nomad. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. For more videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload videos.